Taggart. You find out who murdered Catherine Bell, okay? Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Lady, this better be the crime of the century. Monica, you know that I love Emily. I am not using her to take over the modeling industry. When she's in front of the camera, she doesn't think about Dad. And that's why I brokered the modeling deal. She's not going to be alone. I'll be traveling with her. Okay? And in the unlikely event that AJ is needed back here, I'll be with her. Well, you two may not want to hear this, but you've just landed yourself a deal. How's grandmother? Well, she's as happy as the mother of a dope fiend can be. Monica, if Alan is seen on the street in this condition... He's not going to be. I'm going to go get him. And we're all going to pick out a detox place for him to go. Alan? 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 Making a call. You're waiting for him, aren't you? Who? That's his phone. You're his accomplice. You're waiting for him, aren't you? Look, don't, 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 don't run away. Look, I, I just want my pills. I just want my pills back. I... Hey. That's my wallet. That's mine. That's my... I'm talking to you. Back off. Listen, I don't care about the money. I don't care about the credit cards. Just, just give me back my pills, okay? Please. Come on. Actually, that would be my line, dog. No offense, but you don't exactly fit in around here. Look, I don't need any smart remarks. I can use a hand. Those are an interesting set of bruises you're gonna have there in a couple hours. Your concern is very touching. You know... Lucky for you, I came along when I did. Kind of a coincidence, really. Someone reported a whacked-out gentleman of the Caucasian persuasion terrorizing the good people of this neighborhood. That wouldn't be you, would it, Doc? I am not whacked out, as you put it. Glad to hear it. I was looking for the man who mugged me. Oh, and you decided to go after him yourself. That's a bad idea. Well... I was trying to find some measure of justice, which is more than I could ever expect from the police department. Another cop might be annoyed by a comment like that, but me, I say, hey, if we aren't doing our job properly, you have every right to be angry at us. So, if you just give me the name of the person you made the report to, I'll make sure that he or she is hauled on the carpet. I, uh... Ah... Uh... You I... did report it, didn't you, Doc? My son reported it. Oh. When? I couldn't say. Oh. D don't know. Really? Okay, well, I, I'll, I'll just ask him then. Um, which one would that be? Would that be Jason Morgan? No, it was, it was AJ. Can I go now, please? You know, <coughs> Doc, in a city the size of Port Charles, a cop that's really on the ball. Usually hears about just about everything, and the Quartermains, well, they're a special interest of mine. Kind of a pet hobby, you might say. Your point being? Well, I'm surprised. I'm surprised I have not heard of this mugging before now. 
Do you have any idea why that might be? Look, I'm in no condition to answer any more questions. For goodness sake, my hands are shaking. I have to be honest, I did notice that. Well, what did you expect? Someone just tried to strangle me. Yeah, he did rough you up pretty bad, didn't he? You were the master of the understatement, Taggart. He almost killed me. Right. Okay, um... Why don't you get in the car? I can finish asking these questions on the way. On the way where? I haven't done anything. No, but I can see somebody's done a lot to you. So why don't you let me give you a ride to GH, get yourself checked out. Look, just take me home. I'm a doctor. I know what I need. You can never be too careful in an assault case, doctor. I bet when they roll you into the ER, you get the top of the line treatment, huh? Nothing too good for the boss, man. Oh, wait, wait. Didn't I hear something about the board handing the COS office keys over to the missus? What's up with that? I haven't been fired. I'm just taking a leave of absence. An extended vacation after years without a break. But of course you wouldn't understand the responsibilities of a man such as myself. Oh, I know more about it than you think. That's enough, Taggart. What are you insinuating? What do you want? I never insinuate anything, Doctor. I always let my perps know I think they're guilty. In so many words. Fine, then leave me alone. If you want to arrest me, then go ahead and arrest me. At least I know where I stand. I'm not going to arrest you. I got bigger things in mind. Take as many men as you can spare and go out and find him. And when you do, if he gives you any trouble, you needn't be gentle. Well? Well, as you can gather, AJ and Grandfather are wasting their time. Alan is no longer on the grounds. One of the guards at the front gate saw him drive through. My God. Listen, Monica. Until we find out what's happened to Alan, why don't you take some time off from the hospital? <laughs> After just one day? That's gonna inspire a lot of confidence in my leadership. What was Colin sick? I'm not sick, Ned. I can't afford to be sick. I'm running a major hospital. It's more than that, isn't it? Yes, I love Alan. I really, I even love the, the ghost of him that just haunts this house. Oh. If I'm not going to jail, then I'm going home. And you can't stop me. As a matter of fact, I could. But I won't. Not until it's time. If you'll excuse me. Doctor, you will be hearing from me. Just as soon as I have all my ducks in a row. Quack, quack, quack.